I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you an excellent question on trigonometric identities. We need to prove 1 minus cos x cos 2x cos 3x equals to half of sin squared x plus sin squared 2x plus sin squared 3x. I would like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now in this particular example, we are going to use many of the trigonometric formulas which we learned. I'll also provide you with a link uh, for these formulas. So here is the list, right? So I hope you remember. So you can look into my videos for all the formulas that will help you to prove this identity. So let's begin with the left side. Left side for us is 1 minus cos x times cos 2x times cos 3x. Now we could actually apply the formula which converts product to sum, right? So the formula for product to sum is, so which could be applied, we could use these two. So that's the product, right? We could write this as, as sum. So, uh, you can say cos A cos B is equal to cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. Now, it is normally 2 cos A cos B. I'm going to write half here, times half. So normally we write 2 here, 2 cos a cos p is equals to all this. So I'm slightly modifying the formula, writing cos a cos p as half of all this, right? So if you apply this formula, we can say that the left side is equals to 1 minus. So in the first two terms, x plus 2x becomes 3x. So we'll write this as half of cos add them which is 3x and then add subtract them which is x now cos is an even function so x minus 2x is minus x you could write this as x times cos 3x so i hope this step is clear right now let's open the bracket we get 1 minus half cos square 3x plus okay so let's keep half outside since this is just a product we'll open and uh, write this with half outside that'll be easier we have cos x times cos 3x so I hope this step is clear now again Let's apply this formula for the product of cos x and cos 3x. We get 1 minus half of cos square 3x plus. Now you again get half of sum of these two. x plus 3x is 4x. We get half of cos 4x plus difference which is cos of 2x okay let's take this half also outside then we get 1 minus 1 over 4 it has to be multiplied here so it gets 2 cos square 3x plus we get cos 4x plus cos 2x Okay, now at this stage, what you can do is that you could use half angle formula for this portion. We know cos 2x, let's say cos 2a, is equals to 2 cos square a minus 1. So we have the term 2 cos square a, right? So we could write this as 2 cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a. Perfect. In our case, a is 3x. 
So let's apply this formula this time to the first term. So we'll replace it with 1 plus cos 2a. So what we get here is 1 minus 1 over 4. So here I'm writing 1 plus cos 2a for 2 cos squared 3x. So twice 3 is 6. So we get 1 plus cos 6x plus cos 4x plus cos 2x. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Well, we can just multiply this with 1 and we could also write with 1 over 4 and within bracket 4 minus and you open the bracket now this is just all negative so you get minus 1 minus cos 6x if you want you can rearrange also minus cos 4x minus cos 2x right Let's continue to the next page from here onwards. So we have already got the left side as equal to one fourth of four minus one. So I'm just copying the result which we just got. Cos six x minus cos four x minus cos two x, right? So now we could write this as 4 minus 1 is 3, so we get 3 minus cos 6x minus cos 4x minus cos 2x. Now you also know that the double angle formula for uh, sine square x, so we have cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a. So from here, we can write, because we need sine square, right? So we can write 2 sine square a as equal to 1 minus cos 2a. So that is how sine square a is related with the double angle, right? So in our case, we have cos 6x, which could be treated as 1 minus. So we'll distribute this 3 over these 3 cos functions. So we'll get 1 over 4, 1 minus cos 6x plus 1 minus cos 4x plus 1 minus cos 2x. You see that. So what we have done here is kind of distributed these 3 ones with each function. So if you look individually, they could be written in sine square form. Perfect. So what we get from here is one fourth of one minus cos six x. So a is like half of two a, right? So half of six is three. So we get two sine square three x plus we get two sine square 2x plus 2 sine square x. Now we can take 2 common and then simplify this so we get half of sine square 3x plus sine square 2x plus sine square x. Perfect. Or this is equal to the right side which is half of sine squared x plus sine squared 2x plus sine squared 3x. So that is how you prove it, right? So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So we applied the formula for converting product to sum. So that was one formula which we used. So here's two formulas here. One was product to sum. Basically to convert these products into sum. And then we use this double angle formula, right? I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. 
If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.